Hi guys, it's Michael G0POT here. Now if you have the Sotabeams Wolfwave Advanced Audio Processor, you should keep your eye out for firmware upgrades that can improve functionality and deliver new features. In this short video, we'll run through the process of downloading the relevant files, loading drivers and updating the Wolfwave firmware. Start by visiting the Wolfwave homepage at wolfwave.co.uk and select Firmware from the menu. From here there are three things to download. The actual firmware file that you're going to load onto the Wolfwave, the updater app, and finally the instructions. Save these onto your hard drive. You should have a file with a .dfu extension. This is the actual firmware that you'll be loading onto the Wolfwave. The Wolfwave update file is a zip file which contains the updater app and a driver loading app called Zadig. The instructions are simple and very clear with three steps. One, putting the Wolfwave in firmware update mode. Two, installing USB drivers onto your computer, something that should only need to be done once. And finally, three, programming your Wolfwave with the latest firmware using the updater app. At the end of the instructions, you'll also find a troubleshooting guide, but if you read and follow the instructions carefully, hopefully the process will be smooth and painless for you. Let's start with step one, putting the Wolfwave into firmware update mode. Remove any USB or power cables from the Wolfwave, plug your USB cable into the computer and while holding down the firmware button on the left hand side of the unit, plug in the USB cable. The screen will likely be blank, you get no indicators that the unit is powered up or waiting. Leave this connected as we move to step 2. In step 2 we're going to load the drivers. Find where you save the Wolfwave update zip file and start the Zadig application. You may be prompted to unzip the contents of the zip file first, go ahead and do that, then run Zadig. As it starts you may be prompted to check for updates. Either do that or select no and continue with the package version as I've done here. Let's zoom in a bit. In the drop down box select STM32 bootloader. If that option isn't listed try selecting options and tick list all devices. If that doesn't work try a different USB lead and run through step one again. The lead that's shipped with your Wolfwave is the best one to use, take my word for it. Check that the USB ID is 0483 DF11 and select the large install driver button. You should get a message indicating it was successful and see the WinUSB driver now listed in the driver box. If you just completed step 2, keep the Wolfwave attached to your PC and in firmware update mode as you move to step 3, programming your Wolfwave with the new firmware. Otherwise, follow step 1 to put your Wolfwave into firmware update mode. On your computer, start the Wolfwave update app that you downloaded and select the browse button and navigate to where you saved the firmware file. That's the one with the .dfu extension and select open. Now simply select the start update button. The progress is indicated at the bottom of the application window. My update took approximately 35 seconds and when it completes you should see a status of success, a message that your firmware was successfully updated and your Wolfwave will automatically restart. And that's it, you successfully updated the firmware on your Wolfwave audio processor. You can confirm the firmware build by selecting Menu on the Wolfwave and selecting Utilities and then Firmware Version. Details of the changes introduced in each new firmware release can be viewed on the firmware page of the website. Now go and enjoy the improvements.